after we have mastered uh, these three rules, let's add two more. So recall that at birth, the dorsal brainstem, which observes some basic functions, already myelinated. And this is because we have a rule that myelination goes from inferior to superior. Brainstem comes first. Um, another rule is exemplified here. Um, the deep white matter is myelinated first before the more peripheral subcortical U fibers because of the rule which is central to peripheral myelination. The deep white matter comes first. So in summary, we know that uh, fully mature myelin is T1 bright, T2 dark, and developing myelin um, shows T1 changes first. T2 comes later. Therefore, we use T1 weighted for the first six months, T2 weighted images thereafter. Uh, we reviewed some rules of myelination. Is that it goes from uh, posterior to anterior, inferior to superior, central to peripheral. We have the near adult T1 appearance by eight months, near adult T2 appearance by 18 months. And to recall the myelinated regions at birth, we try to associate the functions that a newborn must have. And by remembering this sentence, baby must be awake with eyes open to grab the milk bottle. Awake to represent the reticular formation, which is in the dorsal brainstem. Eyes open to represent the optic tract. And grab to represent the corticospinal tract. Um, the which is found in the perirolandic region with transact axons to the posterior limb of the internal capsule and then the cerebral peduncles. So thank you for watching. These are the references I used. Thank you.